Good morning and welcome to this week's Reflections. I'm Debbie Rawlings and I'm the children and family worker for the parish. Before we search God's word, let's pray. Dear Lord, open our hearts and our minds to your word. Amen. This morning, I'm going to be looking at Psalm 139. I love Psalm 139. As I remember many difficult times in my life, I would read that to help me know that God created me and he's there for me. I call it my feel-good psalm. If you'd like to read this psalm, please pause the video, read it, and then return. Now this psalm has four sections. Each section is about six verses long. So the first section, verses 1 to 6, tells us how well God knows us. He knows us completely. It begins with the words, examine me and know me. He knows where we go and what we do. In verse 5, there's that lovely saying, you hem me in, which means he's all around us. He's holding us. He knows us well. There are times in life when you might wonder if anyone cares that you are here. Who notices me? How can I be in the middle of a group of people and feel like no one sees me? Do I matter? God knows you. And he knows what we're like. He knows that you have those feelings. He knows all about our habits and our quirks. We don't need to pretend we're perfect because God knows what we are really like. He loves us completely, including all the not so perfect stuff. In the second section, verses seven to 12, shows the psalmist knows that God is everywhere. If you remember the story and how he tried to hide from God, it didn't work. Like Jonah, there is nowhere we can go to get away from God. In a very poetic way, the psalmist says that he, we can't escape him vertically, we can't escape him horizontally, and finally, we can't even escape in the darkness. Many of us try to hide from God in different ways. Maybe we forgot to spend time with God. Maybe we get too busy with work or school. And sometimes we even get stressed out about things and we forget to think about God's presence in our lives. It is at those times that I would challenge you to read this short Psalm 139 and find comfort and joy in knowing God. And then we move on to how, wonder, how we are wonderfully made and created in verses 13 to 16. He knows everything about us. God created us. And there's a phrase in there that says the inmost being. It's meant to show that God didn't just create our bodies. He created our feelings and emotions. Imagine God knew us before we were born. I find that amazing. God's thoughts are important to us. And if we count them and fall asleep, he will still be with us when we wake up. He is there always. And he stays with us. He knows you because he made you. He knows every part of you. God not only knows you today, but he also knew you yesterday and he will know you tomorrow. He won't forget who you are because you're his family. In the final section, verses 19 to 24, the writer turns from acknowledging God as omniscient to asking God to deal with wicked people. He's quite adamant, adamant that he would like God to kill his enemies. I find that quite harsh. There's something to keep in mind. The psalmist is talking about wicked people who have done some bad things against God. The psalmist is asking God to take care of this. God, who is just, will deal with them in a just way. We don't need to take matters into our own hands. God is in control. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to remember how much you love us 
and how you are always there for us. Thank you that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Now I have a little task for you this week. Take and write the words, search me, God, and know my heart on a post-it note. Place the note on your mirror. You will look at it tomorrow morning. And when you get up, read the note and remember that God knows you and loves you just as you are. Have a good week.